my darlings welcome back to my channel my name is Adwish and my channel is Adwish a la mode I love fashion beauty and lifestyle today I'm here with my makeup collection you guys have been requesting this for a while and I think um, somebody actually caught me out and said Adwish like what's going on I've been waiting for so long so I thought today I will give you guys just that and um, when it comes to makeup my makeup is pretty much minimal I don't have a lot of makeup um, I have seen some crazy crazy collections here on youtube but i'm happy to go through and show you guys what i have before we get into the video if you're not following me on instagram please do my handle is at edwish ala mode also please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel we are on the road to 10k guys so please do subscribe to my channel if you're not i always check my analytics you guys do watch but you're not subscribed so please do support me and subscribe to my channel so we can grow together and yes let's get into the video Also, I forgot to mention about my hair. It's actually from Marvelous Hair. I will have the link to it down below. And please do excuse the balloons behind me. I had a birthday. If you watched my vlog, you would have seen. My friend got me some more balloons. That's why you can see balloons there. I'm not crazy, I promise you. So yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna start with my um, acrylic drawer. This is where I keep like majority of my makeup. So um, I bought this from Muji a while ago. I will try and find the link for you down below, but it's definitely um, one of the best ways to store your makeup, in my opinion. And I just think it looks very aesthetically pleasing as well. And yeah, so this is how I have my makeup. So we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stuff. Okay, so in the first drawer, guys, I have all my blushes, uh, my high-end one to be precise. So I have my, this is upside down, what the hell? <laughs> so I have my Bobbi Brown one. This is a really nice highlighter. Um, I bought this a while ago and it's just so nice and golden and nice, uh, a bronze color, which is very, very perfect. And I have my Chanel blush here. If anyone who knows me will know that I love this highlighter by MAC. This is Gold Deposit and it's one of my favorite ones. And also I have my favorite Fenty Beauty um, bronzer over here, which I again just love. And I just love this so much. It's a, such a rich, beautiful color. And, and so on. And here I've got the new Fenty Cream Blush. Um, so the next one, the next drawer is where I keep all my concealers. There we go. Um, I love the NARS ones. I think, I forgot what these are called. These are the Radiant Creamy Concealers. As you can see, I'm almost out. I have them in two colors. And you guys know that I talk about this concealer all the time. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm in the color NC45. I love, love, love this. This is good stuff. And also the LA Go Pro Concealer. You guys already know. And yeah, this is pretty much where I keep all my concealers. Recently, I'm really into NYX as well. well and this is in the color, uh, sorry, color caramel. I love, love this stuff at the corner of my eyes. Really, really nice to give you that um, pop and also over here I have all my bronzers and my favorite bronzer has to be the terracotta by Guerlain I really really love this this is in the color 9 number 9 this is it's in number nine and this is one of my favorite as you can see i've literally hit the pan <laughs> i'm almost done but this is a beautiful color and also the queen latifah one that i have here this is from um this is cover girl the queen latifah collection love that stuff and i've got some mac mineralized skin finish this is my everyday powder by sleek this was gifted to me by the brand and also and i've got another fenty beauty sort of highlighter and this was gifted to me by my cousin actually but it's so intense that I, uh, normally i use it uh, in my inner tear duct because it just looks a lot more better yeah i prefer it there than on my cheeks 
Okay, so I'm literally taking you guys step by step. And over here, over here is where I keep all my high-end lipsticks. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys through and show you some of my favorite lipsticks, okay. And so these are the, um, I forgot what these are called actually. Yes, they're the Rouge Velvet, I think. And I just got that. And I've bought some nude colours. I just love the packaging. Can we talk about the packaging? The packaging is so gorgeous and just so luxury. My favourite colour has to be the, I think these are the colours there, 62 MDD. I'm not sure what um, the colouring it is in this. But it's like a peachy colour. Very bright and nice for the summer. I really, really love this. And also, another of my faves has to be i think it's this one this is the two wait is this the same color <laughs> i think it is it is the same color i have, I have two of the same colors yeah i think i loved it so much that i bought two of the same colors and um also i love this i think yeah this is the one that mira broke my niece broke this, this one. one because she was playing um makeup and she was getting herself doed up in my room and she broke my lipstick i'm still waiting for her paycheck so she can buy me a new one <laughs> uh, yeah she's only eight <laughs> okay and another one of my favorite is this tom ford lipstick this is in the pink dusk like so i really love this lipstick i wear it a lot when i'm going out uh usually you guys always ask me what lipstick what lipstick are you wearing it's usually this and i top it up with a lip gloss and yeah i love this is definitely one of my favorite lipsticks it's just like a really nice dusty pink color it's so pretty um i think i would buy this over and over again and here i have some of my chanel lipsticks so this is actually one of my latest purchase from chanel it's from the coco rouge flash collection and it's number 84 um yeah. i really like this for casual days i think it's really really pretty and yeah i really really like it and this is an, uh, a red color that i bought from chanel which is actually one of my favorite reds which looks like so and i broke it i'm so upset it's, this is in that's the color right there like i said everything will be linked in the description box and I have some of my Dior lipsticks here and so on. And over here, I have my blushes. Um, I never really used to be into blushes like that, but um, when I discovered makeup, I was really into MAC uh, blushes and I love them now. One of my absolute favorite blushes will have to be the um, MAC Raisin. This is the Raisin like that this is one of my favorite favorite blushes i have been using this for years absolute years since i was in uni actually and this is mac raisin it's a really nice um sort of brown color um almost kind of bronzy and i just think it looks amazing on every skin tone and it's a matte um color another of my fave will have to be this sort of highlighter from mac this is i think it's called uh, Morgan, I think I'll have everything in the description box down below. This is a really nice, um, subtle sort of highlighter as well. And yeah, so we'll move on to then. Oh, actually, no, I have another favorite, which is this one. This is a format. Format is another favorite blush of mine that I use all the time. Every time I have makeup on, I pretty much have this on top. Sometimes I use it to kind of like highlight my nose, to highlight my um, forehead. It has a really nice shine to it. So that's like that. And on the next um, sort of drawer is where I keep all my lipsticks. Sorry, my lip gloss and lip balms like so. Okay, so over here, um, you guys, I've already kind of told you how I love this Pow Pow tinted um, lip balm. It's really, really good. It doesn't taste of anything. It's not sticky. It's just a, and it adds a really nice color to your lips as well. And another of my favorite lip care products will have to be the Blistex, which is a cooling relief for lips. So, so this is like a 
another type of lip balm that's quite medicinal and it has like a vix sort of um and taste and kind of smell to it and ingredient added so like a mint ingredient to it and this is a very very nice lip treatment i love it so much um <laughs> actually i couldn't find it for so long i checked on amazon i couldn't find it and I went to Pax Hair Shop the other day and I was able to see it because usually I get it from Boots and it's just, I've not been able to see it. And I went there and I saw they had like so many, like I bought loads because I was just like, oh my God, I don't know when I'm gonna see this again. So I bought loads and loads and loads from Pax so that I can just have it here and use it. And yeah, another of my favorite lip gloss will have to be this uh, Maybelline Cullen Sensation Lip Gloss. I have been using this for the longest time, like since I was probably in college. Honestly, this has been discontinued, but I usually get it from Amazon and I buy it in bulk. It's so good, so good. I wear it every day, all the time. <laughs> and also, one of my latest faves will have to be the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Lip Gloss. This is pretty much like a very light, dusty pink color, but it comes up quite transparent and it has like a little um, sort of shine glitter to it. I really, really love to kind of like add it on top of a lipstick. I think it just looks mwah. These are the um, NYX Butter Gloss. This is so good. Again, I usually wear it on top of lipsticks. I just think it looks so lush. And also from Dior, my favorite lips, lip gloss, my favorite lip gloss from Dior will have to be this, um, what's it called? This is the Ultra Gloss. Love, love this color. It's like a really nice or vibrant pink. When it comes to my lips, I really like light pinks or like a, a peachy colors. I think they very much complement my lips so much. And yep, so I love, love this. And the next one, we are moving on, we're moving to my other lipsticks. And again, I, when I first discovered makeup, I was so obsessed with MAC. I bought so many, so many that I didn't even use. But I do have other bright colors here and there, but I'm pretty much a neutral girl. I have my days where I do want a bold lipstick, but naturally I gravitate towards uh, nudes and uh, like peaches and things like that. Um, so yes, my favorite matte lipstick at the moment will have to be Jubilee. Where is it? Will have to be a Jubilee lipstick, but apparently it, but it's broken. So I can't even show you, sorry. But yeah, I love Jubilee lipstick. I'm wearing it right now with a lip gloss on top. And in terms of color, my favorite lipstick from MAC. Any OG MAC lovers will know all about Ruby Wool. This will have to be my ultimate for favorite lipstick from MAC. And when I wanna feel quite, you know, edgy. Yeah, when I wanna feel edgy or normally when I have my natural hair out, that's when I tend to wear a, a red lipstick. Other than that, I hardly gravitate towards it. But there's something about when I have my hair out, I just tend to always go for this. And yeah, I love, love it. And it's usually in the winter as well. So yeah, as you can see, I have quite a few lipsticks there. I have a few numbers here by Sleek as well. Um, but yeah, and I have some uh, bronzers. These are from Primark. I worked with Primark Beauty. Um, I think it was around December time. I did a campaign with them and they kindly gifted me some makeup product. So the next drawer that we have here is where I keep some of my eyeshadows as well and some more of the Primark product and Sleek. This Sleek palette here was also sent to me when I collaborated with them. I purchased this from NYX, the ultimate eyeshadow palette. And this ha actually has to be one of my favorite palettes right now. I love this. I use it all the time. Um, I'll just open it up for you like they have really nice neutral colors for every day and I gravitate towards it all the time this is actually one of my favorite colors from here I use it even on its own um, on top of other colors I love 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 this and uh, yeah again so we have some more of the Primark ones and so over here this is the last part okay of the acrylic drawer so the last drawer is where I keep all my pencils my mascaras my brow gels and things like that my tweezers um, and also my uh, liquid eyeliners and things like that and one of my favorite pencils for my eyebrows you guys already know is the sleek eye pencil so it's literally one of my faves I've been using it for a while in color one two 
into three. My favorite brow gel will have to be the Brow This Way by Rimmel London. And my favorite lip liner will have to be the MAC. This is a bitter sweet. I love, love this. Again, I've been using this for so, so long. And moving on now, I have another drawer um, in my vanity where I keep some of my other products. So I'm gonna show you, like I said, I think my makeup collection is pretty minimal. But you guys let me know what you think and let me know which is your favorite part so far and if you have any of the similar products that I have. So we're gonna move on to the drawer now. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you. This is where I keep all my foundations, um, some more of my eyeshadows, powders, etc. One of my favorite foundations, as you guys already know, is the uh, Giorgio Armani. I've been using this for the longest time and this is in the uh, Luminous Silk. I am in number 10. Love, love this. And also, recently, I have been gravitating a lot towards the Fenty Beauty. This is the uh, Pro Filter. And I am in the number 420. I have other foundations here. This is from Primark and that was gifted also. This is from Rimmel London. It was part of a campaign. And I have my favorite Fenty Beauty. This is the Espresso um, Contour Stick. Really, really like this a lot. And also I have, um, this was actually my mom's foundation. I keep it here with me. And I have my powders here. And this is the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Um, I don't really use this that often, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do use them. And I also have the Ben Knight Powder. There was a time where everybody went crazy for this, and so did I. And yes, uh, here I've got my favourite primer. This is by Revlon. And this was also kindly gifted to me at the Revlon event. And they kindly gave me two of these foundations as well. And this is the Complexion Enhancing Primer. I've had this for a while as well. I really, really like this. I usually use this when I'm going out. Um, it has a really nice um, kind of gloss to it as well, which is really nice. And yeah, it's very luminous, I feel. And another thing that I really love right now is the Huda Beauty Powder in Kanufa. This, hands down, has to be my favourite powder right now. It applies very, very smooth and I really love how it looks. Um, it gives a really, really nice finish. And then I have my eyelashes over there inside, but I don't know if you can see it. I've been talking about, wait, let me just grab it out. I've been talking about this for so long guys um, and you guys always ask me what lashes I'm wearing um, on my Instagram over here. These are the, I think it's called Hopan um, Luxury Eye Collection. I'll just open it up for you so you can see. So this is what they look like. It comes with two lashes. It comes with two lashes and also it has a bonus um, tweezer in there, which I think is so great. And these lashes are honestly my favourite and I'm going to be continuously rebuying from the brand. The packaging is amazing, it has a mirror inside it and it just flips like so. I think it's so luxury and it's gorgeous. Again, I'll leave the link for you in the description box down below. And so far I have about two of those in there. Um, I do need to get another... I do need to find another way of storing these makeup just because it can be quite hard to um, get hold of the things that are behind. Um, these are also another uh, favourite lashes of mine. These are from, from Miss Belle and they were kindly also gifted to me. Love, love these. Um, I think I even went and repurchased some more because it's just so beautiful. I love, love the effect that it gives. And I also have some more lashes here, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, I have some more. These are from Demure and um, these were also gifted to me by the brand. Um, they sent me so much and I literally wore them every single day. Um, but these are the ones that I've, I have left so far. Really, really nice. And then I also have this. Um, this was gifted to me by um, Alexis Stone Revolution event that I attended. And I've got the Naked Palette there. And this is a Marc Jacob eyeliner, which I haven't even opened yet. I think I bought two from Paris. And yeah, the other one ha has been open. This is another of my favorite palette from Revolution Pro. Um, I'm not sure what this is called. Um, Regeneration, I think that's what it's called. But they have really, really lovely colors in here. 
uh, really nice browns and your nudes that you know that's really good for every day and I definitely gravitate towards all these colors all the time and over here I have some more palettes over there as well and I'll just put these back and in here I've just got some spare brow sort of brushes and I've got some spare sponges and I also have some more powder over here this is another very very good um, everyday sort of powder I usually use this under my eyes after I've concealed and baked um, because it's such a light powder it really leaves a really nice um, residue and a highlighted effect and I really really like that and this was so cheap from MUA and another of my favorite powders will have to be the Sasha Buttercup this is really good as well I really like the um, the finishing look and the finishing effect I think is just so gorgeous especially when you want that really highlighted under eyes so this is definitely one of my faves that was everything for me today guys I hope you enjoyed watching um, please do let me know which was your favorite part or which was your favorite product if you have any products that I have in my collection please do also let me know but yes that was me taking you through my makeup collection like I said this video was requested by um, a lot of you actually uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comment section so guys take care and i'll see you soon bye